14 days, 48 matches, 32 nations and 122 goals. The 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia has come up with moments of magnificent brilliance transcending barriers of sport and culture, but has also been one filled with surprises and glaring errors. Here are a few individual errors which cost teams points and affected their chances in the remainder of the tournament. Aziz Bohadus, Morocco vs Iran Morocco arrived in Russia with an exciting band of players, never raising expectations that they would make it out of a group comprising of Spain and Portugal, but with the self-belief that they could match up to the best in the business with impressive pressing and a splendidly talented group of offensive-minded players who can cut open any defense at will. And then, Iran happened. Before Morocco rightfully scared both the reigning European champions and the 2010 World Cup winners, they had already made a difficult task near impossible for themselves with a stupefying own goal in the stoppage time of their opening fixture. Aziz Bohadus, Morocco's substitute center forward, scored a bullet header off a cross from Iran ZHSAJ Hodgsafi, the only problem being he slotted the header into his own net. Iran had an unlikely win and Morocco's campaign veered off the rails, the African nation finishing last in their group. David De Gea, Spain vs Portugal Cristiano Ronaldo dominated the headlines in Portugal's crucial World Cup opener against Spain, but it was David De Gea's shoddy display and not simply Ronaldo's might that robbed Spain of three points on that evening in Moscow. Spain's goalkeeper David De Gea, R, fails to block a second goal by Portugal's forward Cristiano Ronaldo, not in picture. AFP first was De Gea's curious moment of the World Cup when he spilled Ronaldo's strike into his own net and Spain were pulled back to a goal down against the turn of the play. Then, there was the Manchester United keeper's poor wall placement during Ronaldo's fantastic late free kick that allowed the Real Madrid talisman to swerve his shot past the wall into the GEA's net. Those two seemingly harmless errors had almost cost Spain their top spot in Group B standings, and they had to rely on a resilient or on and if controversial VAR decision to seal the group winner's tag. Willy Caballero, Argentina vs Croatia, they fell apart at the back but were punished in a stunning fashion, John Helm came up with a vintage quote for Croatia's first goal. Against Argentina at Nizhny Novgorod when Willy Caballero came up with the gaffe of the tournament to gift Croatia with the goal that sealed their passage to the last 16. Under pressure from the Croatian front three, Gabriel Mercado played a back pass to his goalkeeper which should have been cleared up field with ease. Andy Rebic was simply chasing down the ball like any other routine attacker, but a weak, miscued shot from Caballero looped the ball up for Rebic who finished with an overhead volley. Caballero had looked unconvincing all throughout his two appearances, but such an error is disgraceful even at school-level games. Argentina had struggled against Croatia's golden generation, and would eventually go on to lose 3-0 courtesy two more wonderful goals from Modric and Rakitic, but it was the fashion in which Rebic found the opening goal that took the wind out of Argentina's sails, with nobody but Caballero accountable for that howler. Cristiano Ronaldo, Portugal vs Iran There is no doubt that if there is a player who has single-handedly carried his team into the knockouts, it is Cristiano Ronaldo and not a certain Argentine plying his trade in Catalonia. But the Portuguese aired only once in the first three matches, missing his second half penalty against Iran. Portugal's Cristiano Ronaldo kisses the ball before taking a penalty against Iran. AFP had Ronaldo scored Iran's late goal in the much criticized VAR decision to penalize Cedric Soares for a handball he didn't commit would not have mattered. It was a rare moment of indecisiveness from the otherwise flamboyant forward, one moment that potentially changed Portugal's fortunes in the knockouts. Victor Moses, Nigeria vs Argentina Just when it looked like the dream was once again slipping away from Argentina's grasp, Marcos Rojo scored a sweet volley four minutes from full time to send Leal B. Celeste through to the round of 16. Lionel Messi had cut a forlorn figure towards the end of the game in spite of weaving his magic all through the match and scoring a montage-worthy goal. 
There wasn't much hope left after Javier Mascherano gifted Nigeria a penalty and Victor Moses promptly converted it, but the football gods had other plans. Moses, playing in a familiar role as the right wing back, was tasked with tracking Marcos Rojo, the free runner into the Nigerian penalty area. Moses failed to read Gabriel Mercado's cross, as well as Rojo's superb run that allowed Argentina to take the lead. It was a piece of lazy defending from the Chelsea player at a crunch moment, one which ended up costing Nigeria their round of 16 berth. Tony Cruz, Germany vs South Korea Some would say Germany's entire World Cup campaign in Russia was a blooper of epic proportions, but it was South Korea's first goal during the defending champions' final group stage fixture which truly eliminated Joachim Lowe's side, and the player culpable was none other than Tony Cruz, who had saved Germany against Sweden with a sensational late goal. Cruz's miscued pass found its way to Kim Young-Gwan who poked it into the net to get the Taeguk Warriors a memorable victory and send Mexico through to the knockouts. Until that stoppage time goal, Germany could still turn it around and scrape their way through with a late winner, but that goal ended a miserable campaign with a moment of despair for Diamond Shaft. Some of these errors have cost their nations a favorable draw, while others have paid with the ultimate price of elimination, it remains to be seen whether the knockout stages are decided by sporting brilliance or individual slip-ups. Click here for full coverage of FIFA World Cup 2018 Click here to view the full schedule of FIFA World Cup 2018 Click here to view the points table of FIFA World Cup 2018 Updated date, June 29, 2018 2.10pm 2